If you're ready for your next live webinar and you already have Kajabi and you're thinking which other software do I need to attach it to to have all of the perks of a live webinar like chats and comments. Good news is you don't need any other software. I'm going to show you in this video how you can set up Kajabi to connect with the YouTube live and having a chat right beside the video in very simple steps. So let me show you how it's done. What I'm going to show you is not exactly obvious. I had to dig deeper into the Kajabi interface to find this hack. But if if you apply this properly, it's gonna fix all of your webinar problems. So let me show you everything you need to make this webinar funnel work for you. First thing you need is an opt-in page, something like this one. You want to collect name and email so that people will register to your live webinar and you can send them notifications on when the webinar room will be on, when you actually gonna go live. The second thing you want to do is to set up your YouTube unlisted live session and schedule it to when you wanna host your webinar. So from your channel dashboard, you can go and click on create, go live. You're not actually going to go live because thankfully they've added this buffer page. One day I went live to thousands and thousands of people on our main channel. It was very embarrassing and that's how I learned how to not screw up again. But this is great because now you can schedule a stream. And if you click on it, you can either reuse one of the previous lives that you've done or create a new one. In this case, we're going to create a new one. You want to add the title and a description. You have the option here to use a streaming software. There are free ones and paid ones. I'm going to go through a couple of those in a second. But you also can use just the webcam and mobile if you want YouTube itself to be the streamer for you. But let's keep it a streaming software for now because I'm going to show you how to use a streaming software in a second. Then you need to fill up the category, add a thumbnail and add it to a playlist if you want to. This is all the usual stuff that you have to set for every video you upload on YouTube. And you click next. And in this case, you want to have a live chat there. Live chat replay. When the live is finished, you want to show the live live chat replay as it happened the first time you run the live webinar. That's up to you if you want it or not. You can choose if this video can be seen by anyone or just the subscribers or maybe other people can comment on it. But for the sake of this webinar, we'll leave it to anyone. You want live reactions as well. Then you click next. We want to set this live to unlisted so nobody without the link will access it or YouTube is going to broadcast it to all of your subscribers and schedule it for a next month. For example, let's say the date of our next webinar, the 6th of March. 8 p.m. Here we are. You are inside your YouTube live stream dashboard. As you can see, there is a spinning wheel, loading spinning bar that it's waiting for the stream of data to come to it as we selected the streaming software as a source of video and audio. There are a few things that we want to set up in here. So let's take care of that immediately. YouTube is going to ask you for a streaming key. If you don't know what it is, just create a new one so that I can show you what it does. You want to basically give it a name. For now, it's description test. I would just keep this as a default stream resolution. You can turn on manual settings if you know exactly what kind of resolution you're going to stream. Usually it is about 1080p. It's usually plenty. And this is the bitrate that it's going to suggest you use in your streaming software. If you want to use 60 FPS, you can turn it on. But unless you're a gamer, you won't need this and you can create it. I highly recommend you keep off auto start and auto stop so that you decide when to go live. It doesn't matter if you launch the streaming software before and after. And this is really important if you don't want to go live without pressing go live yourself. Enable DVR allows anyone that jumps in the webinar late to go back at the beginning and re-watch it. If you want to switch it off, we usually keep it off because we want people to stay live at the beginning. It's up to you if you want to keep it on or off. Stream latency allows you to have a bit more real time feedback with messages. If you have a good connection and you want a bit more real time, I recommend you to use low latency. Or if you have an incredibly good connection and you want to have even more real time interaction, ultra low latency is also an option. But it might be glitchy if your connection is not super fast. You can choose to have closed captions as well. If you switch it on, your option for latency is only normal. Normal, which means you're going to have roughly 45 seconds, 30, 45 seconds of delay from when you ask something and when you receive comments. But the added perk is that you can have automatic captions showing up as you speak. For people that maybe don't speak your language perfectly can be an added value. If you don't care about that and you want a more live interaction, feel free to switch it off and use low latency. Now your YouTube live session, it's unlisted. It's just waiting there for you to start and it's done. There's nothing else you need to do on it. I wanted to show you another way to create 
create this in a much easier way using a software called StreamYard. StreamYard is free and it allows you to do a couple of beautiful things. First of all, you can stream on multiple platforms at the same time, if that's something that you want to do. But mainly, it allows you to create different layouts for what you want to do. For example, you want to be full frame like I am right now, or maybe you want to swap to a sharing screen and still have your face on the side of the screen. Or if you want to add banners at the bottom of your frame to highlight some links that you are mentioning, that's something you can do as well. And something extremely cool you can do as well is highlighting comments from your watchers. And that's something that will connect more with your audience and you don't have to mess around, it's just a couple of clicks. If you wanna try StreamYard, it's super powerful and it's free. So if you wanna follow along with me, there is a link in the description box below and let's carry on and try StreamYard as well to do exactly the same procedure. Once you signed up with StreamYard, you'll find that your dashboard allows you to create an upcoming stream. And this is as simple as that. You can create a new stream. In this case, it's going to be a live stream. You choose the option. Of course, you'll have to add the destinations first. Once you found the destination, you just create a new live stream. In this case, it's test one. Same thing as before. We want to keep it unlisted and schedule for later. In this case, we want to do March 6th, 8 p.m. If you have a thumbnail, you can upload the thumbnail and then you create a live stream. That's it. If we go back to the YouTube dashboard for the live, you see that now I've got two. One has been created by StreamYard and all the settings, we want to just double check in case something is off. So we're going to click on test one, which is created. We want to disable auto start. We want to disable TVR. Low latency is okay. Everything is good. So this live stream is also done. You don't have to do anything to it. By the way, if you don't have Kajabi already, feel free to use the link in the description box below where I can give you double the amount of free trial. It's 30 days free trial, which is plenty of time to you to build everything. But on top of that, since it's an affiliate link, I'm gonna give you a mini course that explains to you how to set up your Kajabi account from the ground up. I'm gonna give you a sales page framework guide that is gonna teach you how to write converting sales pages. And if you decide to stay above the 30 days free trial, I'm gonna give to you two incredible sales page templates that you can just drag and drop into your account and have a professionally designed sales page where you just need to copy your sales page, copy, make a couple of tweaks and sell your digital products. If this sounds great, just click on a link below, set up and come back to this video. On StreamYard, there are a few things you can do. If you enter in the studio, you can choose the camera you wanna use, the microphone you wanna use and the name you wanna display it on. If I enter in the studio, I've got different layouts I can choose from. This is the studio that allows you to add sources to your layouts. For example, you want to add your camera, your webcam, whatever you're using. You want to add a share screen or maybe if you have a canvas like presentation on you can add that to the mix and have this type of effect also you can switch from one layout to another with these simple buttons and you can create banners here like that you can highlight stuff like this if you are talking or if you want to highlight any message there is a private chat here where we show you all the comments that you can click on and the person that asked the question will be highlighted in the bottom of your screen and you can reply directly to that so the other watchers know what you're talking about. It's a very powerful tool and it's free and it's super easy to use. I really highly recommend it if you want to do a more interactive webinar. Now that we've created our live stream in YouTube, let's have a look at how to connect everything together within Kajabi. Here we are in Kajabi. We are about to set up the webinar room where people will come in, watch your videos and chat with you while you deliver your your webinar. Here's the tip of the pro on how to do it. We're going to be using a legacy template here. So if you go into the marketing tab under funnels, you can create new funnels. Scroll all the way down. There's this button that says legacy funnels. Click on that. You want to create a webinar funnel. So get started. Let's call it webinar. It's going to be 6th of March at 6 p.m. apply. Don't worry about this thing. You can change it later and generate funnel. Kajabi is going to create a series of pages to have a complete funnel from opt-in to checkout, but we are not going to use all of that. We're only going to be using one specific page that you can link to your original opt-in page that we showed you before. Once the funnel creation is done, you'll be presented with this page. Now, all of these pages, we don't need them all, as I mentioned before. What we need is webinar room. If I go back and I go inside the pages, so website, pages, and I click on the tab funnels, I would see all of these new pages just created inside this folder webinar. If I click on it, I can finally find webinar room. 
I want to modify that, customize that. Here we are in the webinar room page. As you can see, you have a headline already and all of the other section underneath. We don't need them now, so I'm going to delete them. Click on them and delete the section. I want to create a new section. And in this case, it's YouTube Live and add. As you can see, this is already a pre-made module that is going to take all the data from a YouTube live video into Kajabi. It's better than an embed video because this is directly integrated within Kajabi. The only thing you need to do is to find your video ID. And if we go back to the YouTube live dashboard, we are already inside one of the live streams that we scheduled before. And as you can see in the URL, I want to show you the URL of this page. Your video ID is this code right here. So you can copy that, go back into Kajabi. Inside video ID, you can paste it there. Boom. Now the YouTube Live is integrated within Kajabi, but we have one single problem. The chat, it's not working right now. And there is a reason for that. So if I preview this page, as you can see, the chat is still broken. The reason for that is because you want to dig deeper into the YouTube settings and make sure that your webinar room is embeddable. If you go back to your live settings and click on this edit button right here, you can scroll all the way down and you'll find allow embedding. But since it's on, you might wonder why is your chat not working? But if I go back, as you can see, the URL of this page is not my domain. It's a mykajabi.com domain. If I switch that with my original domain, which is going to be your final URL, the chat now is working. The reason for that is because YouTube only will allow embedding on domains that you own. So if you haven't handed your domain inside your Google admin account, Account, you should do it right now. Otherwise, this chat is not going to work. The way you do it is go on admin.google.com, log in, and make sure you add your domain. It's just as simple as clicking on count domains, manage domain, add a domain, and follow the instructions. It will probably ask you to add some DNS records on your domain, but you should be able to follow along with the instructions. Once you're done with that, you'll be able to see over there your webinar room has got a chat that is perfectly working. Now your YouTube Kajabi webinar is set up. And there's one more thing I want to show you because it's super cool. Let's suppose you have an offer you want to introduce to your audience 45 minutes in the webinar. There is a way that you could use this legacy template to reveal a call to action on a specific time. For example, 45 minutes after you started the webinar. And let me show you how it's done. We're back in the Kajabi Builder and we are about to add a section that will reveal 45 minutes in into the webinar. And here's how you do it. This headline, as you can see, it's a bit too big. We want to make it small so it takes less space or we can get rid of it altogether if you want to. Underneath, we want to add a section. So we go back and add the section. In this case, we want to use custom content headline. Check out my amazing program, maybe extra small again. There is something important here, the time reveal. It's going to be linked to an event. And in this case, we can use the same event that we use so far, the webinar event. The webinar event is set to the start of the video. So if you know and you timed your presentation to have maybe your offer presented after 45 minutes, we can use 45 and set this to minutes. We can also add a call to action here, learn more, for example, and this can link to your sales page. I can save it. Even if you are not on YouTube, you can say, check the link below and it's going to be below your videos after 45 minutes of your start of the webinar. How cool is that? All without using any additional software. It's just Kajabi and YouTube. If you remember, we set the YouTube live stream to use a streaming software. If you don't have a streaming software, a free one that I use whenever I don't have anything else, it's called OBS. OBS is free for Windows and Mac, and it's a good alternative if you don't want to pay for an extra software. There is a bit of a learning curve to it, but it's free. So if you want to spend some extra time learning what you can do with it, it's pretty powerful. You can have a presenter view. You can set up your own layout for when you're sharing slides, but you don't don't have all of the things that StreamYard has, like for example, highlighting comments from people actually attending your webinar. If you only want to present and have your face as a presenter and your slides as a share screen, OBS will do just fine. Great, you have your webinar funnel set up in Kajabi, awesome. I'm assuming you have an offer at the end of your webinar and if you haven't done your sales page yet because you're not quite sure what to write and how to properly write a converting sales page, we have a video for you that you can watch right now that will teach you exactly that.